The Healthcare Technology Cooperative is really an innovative way of partnership working. Devices for Dignity, or D4D as we call it, um, is really quite unique in the sense that we are very firmly embedded within the NHS. And what that means for us is that we have access to a lot of clinical expertise and clinical know-how. And of course we have access to patients because that's our everyday activity, it's what we're about within the NHS. But for D4D what it means is that we absolutely know what technologies are needed by patients. And we also know what works and what doesn't. And we have expertise which allow us, allows us to assist in making things better. So essentially what Devices for Dignity does is to bring together partnerships, working together with other NHS professionals, working with patients, working with universities, researchers in university departments, and working with industry in order to develop the very best products and technologies for our patients. And hopefully, in that way, we improve the health of our patients, we improve their ability to be independent, to live with dignity. Um, we're supported by a number of different funding bodies, the National Institute for Health Research, the Technology Strategy Board, and two of the research councils. And we also work very closely with the Department of Health um, in ensuring that the products that come out of D4D are adopted within NHS organisations. Once we got the Dignity Commode to the stage where it was a commercially viable proposition, we continued to support the inventor and the manufacturer, Gordon Ellis, in terms of ensuring that the final product was fit for purpose. People often ask what patient-centred care is all about. And for me, it's about putting patients at the heart of everything that we do. So it's about involving patients in our decision-making and making sure that what we do is right for them and delivers what they need.